Good day everyone! How are you today? I'm here again, Love Angel, your teacher in CLE 7. Welcome to another session of Venezuela! Live! So ready your notebook and pen and don't forget your learning module. We are now in the second week of our learning journey in cookery. Remember, cookery is a skill that can be learned and acquired. So stay with me. Today, let's enjoy learning another skill in cookery. Our learning competency for this week is to utilize appropriate each of tools equipment and paraphernalia. At the end of the session, you are expected to classify kitchen tools and equipment based on their uses. To utilize appropriate kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. And to emphasize the importance of classifying and organizing kitchen tools and equipment. Do you still remember the different uses of kitchen tools and equipment? Let's have a recall. Simply type the letter of the, your answer in the comment section. Which tool is Design for blending, mixing eggs, gravies, sauces, and soups. The answer is C. Whisk. What if whisk is not available at home? What would be our alternative tool for mixing eggs and sauces? Very good! You are right! We can still use a fork as our alternative for whisking. Next. Which tool is for leveling ingredients and for spreading sandwich fillings and frostings? The answer is... Next, which tool is used for guiding liquid or powder into a small opening container like jar? What tool is it? Here are the choices. A. Garden press. B. Soup ladle. Or C. Funnel. Do we have the same tool in mind? Yes! It's funnel! A garlic press is to pulp garlic, while soup ladle is to serve soups and sauces. What tool is it? What tool is that with a two-sided blade that is used to section citrus roots? What is your answer? It's B, citrus knife. I am happy that you still remember the uses of those tools. You are all doing great. Oh, we still have another question here. Which equipment keeps the food fresh and helps avoid food spoilage? What is your answer to this? C. Freezer. Correct. Let's move on. I'm sure you are familiar with this. I 
have four pictures here and I need one word from you. Type your answer in the comment section. Very good! The answer is tools. How about for these pictures? This time, they are what? Type in your answer. The answer is equipment. That's right. What can you say about the kitchen tools? How about kitchen equipment? So, why do I emphasize these tools and equipment? It is because I want you to recognize the difference between the two. Let's compare and examine. Tools are small and handy, while equipment is large, heavy, and expensive. Also, tools are designed in such a way that they can be used for multiple purposes, while equipment is designed for a specific task. Most tools are non-mechanical, while equipment has a certain aspect of mechanical, and most of them are power-operated appliances. I am sure you have found the differences between tools and equipment. Now let's start to classify these kitchen tools and equipment. Let's begin with kitchen tools. Kitchen tools are classified according to their uses. We have five classifications of kitchen tools. Preparatory tools, cutting tools, Measuring tools, mixing tools, and serving tools. Preparatory tools are designed for food preparation. Such tools are chopping board, colanders, dredgers, sharpening steel, or else. We have a can opener and garlic press. Next classification is the cutting tools. Cutting tools are used for shearing ingredients to achieve desired shape and size. Butcher knife, French knife, vegetable peeler, kitchen knife, are examples of cutting tools. Another classification of kitchen tools according to their uses is the measuring tools. These tools are used to measure dry and liquid ingredients. Graduated measuring glass is used for measuring liquid ingredients like evaporated milk, water, and coconut milk. We need to use measuring spoons to measure both liquid and dry ingredients like measuring fish sauce, soy sauce, salt, and sugar. Another classification of mixing tools is the yes we have mixing tools that are used for stirring whisking blending beating ingredients like butter gravies sauces and soups 
The next classification is the serving tools. These tools are used to cut, scoop, grasp, spread, strain, and transfer food from plates, trays, platters, and bowls, like seafood serving tools, spoons, serving tongs, soup ladle, and spatula. Let's have a short exercise in classifying kitchen tools. You have to determine the classification of the following kitchen tools. Then, type in the respective key letters of your answer to the comment section. Simply type PT if it is a preparatory tool, or CT for cutting tools, FT for measuring tools, XT for mixing tools, and ST for serving tools. What is the classification of measuring cups and spoons? Are they preparatory tools? Cutting tools, measuring tools, mixing tools, or serving tools. Measuring cups and spoons are measuring tools. Great! Empty for that. Measuring tools. How about base trips? Are they preparatory tools, cutting tools, measuring tools, mixing tools, or serving tools? Basters are PT, preparatory tools. That is correct. Equipment is used for a specific purpose. 
process. This is a uh, necessary equipment, but it is not usually in use. It is also called secondary equipment. Examples of these are coffee maker, food chopper, broilers, and meat grinder. Now let me check if you have understood this part of our lesson. Let's enjoy this activity. Simply identify the classification of the following equipment. An oven is classified as baking equipment. Just keep on posting your answer in the comment section. Next, blender is on auxiliary equipment. Another here. Griddle, which is considered as an auxiliary equipment. A wok is classified as another auxiliary equipment. A freezer is a Food storage equipment and microwave oven is classified as Microwave oven is classified as one of our baking equipment. Very good. Now let's move on. Let us imagine the tools that were used to prepare this Vegetable salad. What preparatory tools were used? Let's see. Colander, chopping board, and dredger. They are the preparatory tools used. How about the cutting tools? used for this vegetable salad. Kitchen knife and fruit and salad knife were used for cutting and sectioning ingredients. Another, what tools were used for the measurement of the ingredients? Measuring spoons were used for measurement of the ingredients. Wonderful! We are now ready to serve the salad. What tools can we use to serve the salad? We can use What tools can we use? Yes! Spoons and serving tongs are the tools that we can use to serve the salad. Wait, do we need equipment for this? Yes, we need a refrigerator to keep it fresh. Maybe some of you are asking, why do we need to classify these kitchen tools? Classifying is also sorting. And it is a process of arranging items systematically. When we say systematically, it is the grouping of items with similar properties. I think you will agree with me that sorting or grouping our kitchen tools and equipment is necessary for our kitchen. That we must keep on 
all things organized. When everything is organized, when tools are in proper places, we can save time while cooking. It will also expand the usage and lifespan of our kitchen equipment. Students, do you know that I have read something from HGTV.com? That will truly help you organize kitchen tools and paraphernalia. Would you like me to share it with you? I bet you do! There are tips that will help you organize your kitchen tools and paraphernalia. Tip number one. Empty cabinets. Discard or donate those things that are not frequently used. Duplicate items, broken items, or things you forgot you had. Tip number two. Group like items. Sort your cooking items and pile them together. Group seasonal items that only get used once or twice in a year as well as those special entertaining or serving pieces that are only used occasionally. Tip number three. Organize the cabinets. Decide where each item should be stored. Cooking and baking pieces should be kept close to where you do food preparation. Utensils should be in the drawer nearest to the prep area as well. Glasswares might be best near the sink or refrigerator. Tip number four. Use drawer dividers. Drawer dividers will allow you to assign a little spot for each thing. You will be able to find things when you need them. Last, tip number five. Take time to clean out your refrigerator each week. See what food needs to be pitched and immediately show it out. And take the trash out to the curb right then. Your refrigerator will house only current items and will be less cluttered. It is great thing that we were able to meet our learning objectives for today. Now, I will give you a performance task. Let's consider this as one of your activities. Help your mom to classify, sort, and organize things in your kitchen. Can you do that? Submit a picture of your output to your TLT picture. I will be glad to see your accomplishment with this. And I'm sure your mom too. Aside from that performance task, answer all the activities in your ELE 7 Week 2 module. I am pretty sure that you have enjoyed our session for today. Thank you so much for your active participation. Don't forget to visit your weekly home learning plan that will lead you to the activities that you need.
to accomplish. If you have any questions, just send a message to your TLP teachers and for sure, they will attend to you immediately. Let us also acknowledge the support and guidance of all Nanay teachers who are with us for the academic and character development of our young Valenzuelanos. Again, I am Mom Angel. Remember this, smile, and always be a responsible Valenzuelano. See you again, grade 7 students, in our next Valenzuela!